Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Kelvin here. In this video, I will show you how to use OCAS to buy your favorite cryptos so that you can hold big big. I will tell you how to sign up, then buy cryptos, then if you don't want to hold it, I will also tell you how to sell your cryptos and withdraw your money back out. Finally, I will also give you some tips and tricks on using OCAS. There's a lot to talk about, so let's start right now. When using OCAS, it's best to sign up with a referral link because you get a 5% discount on your trading fee. If your friend has a link, just use theirs. Otherwise, you can just use mine down in the description below. After signing up, you will need to do some verification to increase your 24-hour withdrawal limit. To do verification, at the top right side, mouse over the profile icon, click verification. The more you can verify, the more Bitcoin you can withdraw in a day. Alright, now let's talk about how to buy cryptos with OCAS. At the top, you will see quick trade and peer-to-peer. -peer. Let's talk about quick trade first. In quick trade, there's actually four payment methods. Visa, Mastercard, Apple Pay, and PayNow. Let's say I want to use 1,000 Singapore dollars to buy USDT. If I go through them, you can see that Visa, Mastercard, and Apple Pay will only give me 694 USDT, while PayNow gives me 738 USDT. This means that Visa, Mastercard, and Apple Pay's exchange rate is super bad, and if I use them, I will immediately lose about $40. That just leaves us with PayNow. But if you use PayNow, there's actually a few limitations. First, you can only buy between 100 HUD to 1000 HUD per transaction. Second, even though you see it's 738 USDT here, when you try to buy, there's actually a fee of around 1.5%, which is super duper expensive. I can already buy 2 to 3 place worth of Thai fund with this up. So, pay now is out. Next, let's check out P2P trade. Just in case you are blur blur and you don't know what's P2P, it stands for peer to peer where you buy and sell cryptos with another real person. In P2P, there's three cryptos that you can buy using Singapore dollars, USDT, BTC, and ETH. As of making this video, there's a few people selling USDT, no one selling BTC, same for ETH. There's one more thing I noticed. For USDT, most of the sellers have completed very few orders. There's only one or two guys who have completed more than 100 orders and has 100% completion rate. When using P2P to avoid getting scammed, it's best to use someone who has a high completion rate and has completed a lot of orders. But if you are scared of getting scammed, the alternative is to buy your cryptos in another exchange then send it over to OCAS. If you want to do this, I recommend using Gemini to buy your cryptos, then transfer into OCAS because Gemini has 10 free withdrawals every month. Otherwise, let me just quickly show you how to buy cryptos via peer-to-peer. -peer. I will use this guy because he has completed a lot of orders. In the chat, he told me he accepts pay now and after transferring, I will need to screenshot the bank slip and WhatsApp him. So I did just that. After transferring, click I have paid, next step, then pay. Then pray pray that he will transfer the crypto to you. Actually, you don't have to pray because if it's a timeout, OCAS will automatically transfer the crypto to you. Once it's done, OCAS will tell you that the crypto is in your account. Then I say thanks to him because I got manners. Okay, now we have USDT. The next step is to buy your cryptos. I will just show you how to buy Bitcoin, yeah? To do that, at the top, mouse over trade, click basic trading. Here, you will see some trading charts that makes you feel like you are some trading pro, like Warren Buffett or something. Anyway, just search for your trading pair. I'm buying BTC with USDT, so I'll just use this pair. Okay, let me explain the order types. For limit order, you can specify what price you want to buy. And for market order, you will immediately buy at the best possible price. You can specify how many BTC you want to buy or how many USDT you want to use. But hey, if you check here, you will see that I don't have any USDT. Then you'll be like, eh, okay, sus. Okay, okay, that's an explanation for this. At the top, mouse over assets, my assets, click transfer, change to USDT. The reason you didn't see any USDT because it was using the trading account. But right now, all the USDT are in the funding account. So just transfer all the USDT over, click transfer, then go back to trading. Ne, I have USDT now. Personally, I prefer to use market order, so I'll just change it to market order. If you check the fees, maker is 0.08% and taker is 0.1%. Basically, if you use limit order and your order joins the queue in the order book, you make a new order. So you are a maker, your fee will be 0.08%. But if your limit order gets smashed instantly or you use market order, you immediately take an order from the queue. So you are a taker, your fee will be 0.1%. Okay yeah, next, click buy BTC, check everything is alright, then confirm. So that was how to buy your cryptos. Okay, next, let's say your crypto has gone to the moon and you want to sell everything so that you can retire at the beach. At the top, click basic trading. I'll use the BTC USDT trading pair. Then to sell, click sell. 
Remember, you want to sell, don't blur blur go click buy. Just enter everything as usual, then sell PDC. Yeah, so simple. Finally, I will show you how to withdraw SGD. For this, you can't use Quick Trade because it doesn't support SGD. So you can only use P2P to withdraw. Make sure it's sell, change to SGD. Again, you will see that USDT has the most sellers, while BTC and ETH don't have many sellers. I will choose a guy who has completed a lot of orders and have high completion rate. And my USDT amount is also within his limit. Click sell USDT. Eh, yes, has zero USDT in the funding account. This time, you need to transfer your USDT back into the funding account. Enter the amount, then click transfer. Then, now your USDT is in the funding account. Choose the amount, then click sell USDT. Oops. Now it asks you to set up a payment method. So just do that. Enter your account number and bank name, do the verification, then complete. Go back and find the same guy, click sell USDT. Enter everything, then click sell USDT. Check everything is alright, then continue. Here, you just have to wait for him to transfer you the money. He asked whether I have pay now, so I just give him my pay now instead. Once the transfer is done, OKX will tell you. But before you release the crypto, remember to double check that you have received the money. Yeah? I got this email saying that I've received, so all is good. Go back to OKX, then release the crypto. Then remember to say thank you because you got manners. So that was a quick tutorial on how to buy and sell cryptos in OKX. Quite easy, huh? Now, let me share some tips and tricks on using OKEx. First, enable 2FA. To avoid getting hacked, enable 2FA on your OKEx account. To do that, at the top, mouse over profile, click security settings, enable all the 2FAs here to protect yourself from hackers. Second, after you buy your cryptos, don't just leave it sitting there doing nothing like a lazy bum bum. If you are scared that your cryptos will get stolen, transfer them to a cold wallet like Ledger. That way, your cryptos are safe and nobody can steal them. Or if you want to earn interest on your cryptos, OKEx actually gives quite a high interest for some of the cryptos. Here, if I change to low risk investment, you can see that OKEx gives about 6% for USDT or ADA's interest is 9.31% if you stake for 90 days. So that was some tips and tricks on using OKEx. Hopefully, this video helps you out. Like, share and subscribe as I'll be posting new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday.